So hi, we have Cynthia right here, and uh, today's October 12th, 2022, and Cynthia just uh, finished a treatment right here on our decompression table, and Cynthia, so uh, you've been doing this for a little while. We're not all the way done, but uh, if you don't mind, share with us what your condition was beforehand and uh, how you're doing now. Yeah, um, I've been a nurse, I see nurse for many years, and I first hurt my lower back the first semester I was in nursing school. And it had been quite episodic, didn't have any long lasting issues for a long time. But this last year and a half, I've had more episodes of pain and with radiation down into my leg. Mm, pain and in your leg, back and leg pain? Back and leg, yes. Yeah, okay. And earlier this summer, it got to the point where I had an episode where it felt like someone was sticking a sword down the muscle in the back of my leg. Mm. The pain was about eight on a scale out of 10, with 10 being the worst, zero being none. And I had gone to an orthopedist and they were saying I would need to have back surgery. Someone told me about Dr. Rick and the decompression therapy. And so I started coming in and my I've greatly improved. At this point, I'm not having to use a walker, any assisted devices to get around. I'm able to stand and walk standing upright correctly. I'm able to do a lot more of my daily activities. I'm retired now and I have a horse. And for a long time, I couldn't even get out and hardly do anything with her. I'm still not able to ride yet. Still a little early for that. Yeah, yeah. we know what you're doing there. Yeah. But, um, but I'm able to go out and get her groomed and give her her food every day and basically take care of her for most of the other things that we need to do and do all my normal activities. I live in a retirement community. I can walk now from my unit to the clubhouse and back without any assistance and can go to meetings and participate in, you know, not physical activities like exercise class yet, but I can go to meetings and enjoy eating dinner with my friends and it's all coming back yeah. together. And you told me that people are noticing that you're different and you're not using assistance and all of that. I mean, they're, they're seeing it as well, right? Yeah. The other residents, the people at our, our healthcare center, um, my other therapists are, are noticing that I'm able to walk and stand and sit much better than I was. I also at one point was taking quite a bit of pain medication and uh, I've gotten down to that. So I'm not taking any more prescription medications. I'm just taking over the counter nice. and about half what I was taking at one point. And still the worst my pain is now is like a three to a four out of 10. Nice. And we're only about halfway through our treatment protocol too. Mm -hmm. So that's great. Well, last question. So how is the treatment itself? Is it uncomfortable? Does it hurt? Or is it, is it comfortable to get uh, the, the decompression treatment? How would you describe that? At first, it was a little difficult for me getting on the table and getting my legs yeah. up supported just because <laughs> she, it was she, so... She couldn't do this because so her back was so bad. <laughs> yeah, because my back was so bad. Dr. Rick had to help me a little bit. Uh, but now I can easily, you know, lift my legs up so that he can slide the, the piece under my legs. And I've learned where I need to get my bottom on the table when I first mm -hmm. get down so I don't do as much sliding up and down. At this point, lying here, having the treatment, it actually feels kind of good in mm -hmm. a way to have the the, uh, the muscles in the spine stretched out. It's yeah. like when you you know get a massage and somebody's moving the joints, you can just sit back there and relax, and uh, it, it's not you know uncomfortable or painful at all once you get used to it. Nice. Well, Cynthia, thank you so much for this testimony. I look forward to seeing oh. the future here. We're, we're yeah. still moving forward. So and Dr. Rick, thanks to you for fixing me up so that it looks like I won't need to go and have back surgery after all. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I'm here for. Thanks a lot, Cynthia. Thank you. Bye. Bye.